friends, and welcome to this week's blog. I'm David. And I'm Epa. And we are Tainted Blood Clothing. Slash G2G, which is glory to God. I want to take a second and I want to apologize for us not doing a video blog lately. It's because I've been sick and I've been under the weather and we haven't been able to do so. So we're trying to catch back up now. If we ever be a little short again, please pray for me because that means that I'm sick. What we've had a grand opportunity to do, guys, is add some updates to our blog. Right. And so on all of our social media sites, you'll be able to see Tainted Blood Clothing, G2G, which is glory to God, every day. Because every day, guys, moving forward, we'll be able to do something to share with you. And we're going to start off with Sunday, which is Sacrificing Sunday. Where we'll actually be featuring on the social media sites all of ours, but we'll actually be volunteering on that weekend. So you can come and volunteer with us. Right. And on Monday, it's Miracle Covering Monday. And what we'll be featuring that on those on Mondays is miracles. People testify of their miracles that they have all over the world. And on Tuesday, it's Testimony Tuesday. And here we have a personal note of your personal testimony of how God has moved in your life. Wednesday is Words of Wisdom Wednesday. And on Wednesday, our director will actually come forth with those words of wisdom. So we look forward to that. On Thursday, it's just a Tuesday, it's Thursday. And here's a grand opportunity, guys, for us to feature uh, couples, uh, just the two of couples in Christ that are really ministering in the Word. And for our first couple, it actually be our very own director and her husband. And on Friday, is Funny Video Friday. So please, 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 guys, as we actually start to gather all of these funny videos for Friday to feature, please like, subscribe, and actually send those videos to us for those considerations that we feature also. And last, Saturday, which is on Saturdays, guys. Last but not least, on Saturdays, what we'll actually be featuring is all the sales that we're actually having. We have three new shirts. We have a new shirt for Father's Day, which is which is Dad with the crown on it. Our dad shirt. We also have Dad's R shirt for Father's Day. Right, and really, really also nice. there's Flag Day, and we have my personal favorite, one of the personal favorites of our our shirts because it's dear to me because it's the Canadian flag. guys on the last of June we'll be celebrating pink day and pink shirt day so we have this really really red pink um, tank top right. with the G2G, G2G in gold glory to God in gold yeah it's really fascinating so, so let's get to today's question today's <laughs> question comes from my brother shout out to Malcolm love you mama and his question is do you think man can be faithful to one woman in a relationship. What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> I mean, of course, I'm married. So, of course, I think uh, a man can be faithful to one woman in a relationship. But that why? Why do you think? I, I, I think that everybody has it in them to be faithful and to be loyal. But it depends on if that man wants to be faithful and that man wants to be loyal to that particular person. It all deals with maturity. If you're mature enough and if you're stable enough in your relationship, I believe that you can be faithful to one person. I think also that the woman shouldn't, Come on. shouldn't, shouldn't Come really on. Come on. push there herself is. onto a man. Come on. If he wants to be faithful, he's going to be faithful. And if he doesn't, can't force him to be faithful. No matter how hard you try, he's going to do what he wants to do. A man is going to be a man. You can't change a man just like the you nature. can't change a woman. Correct, right? correct. So this is why I totally completely agree with you on that part and that there's a nature thing going on here. Right. Nurturing and mothers, there's a reason that women have children, men can't give birth. It's just, that's just what it is. Right. There's a part of nature going on here. And as Ms. Director said like that, I'm great that she pointed that out, but I also want to take the other side of that coin. She was speaking in reference to relationships. I don't know if you caught that or not. That's a real big thing with me right now. How we interact with one another. You can give a person that you're not even legally bound with no paper, no ring, no house, no children. You can give them a reason to be faithful to you. Right. But if you as a woman are not giving your man a reason to be faithful to you, you don't cook, you don't clean, you like a train hit you, don't comb your hair, don't dress up. When was the last time you said, I appreciate you taking out the trash? Right. You always in his face, nagging, always whining, right. and you want to know why a brother won't be faithful to you? 
So I want to I make sure that we hit that side of the coin. It's in our nature to make a decision of how we're going to stand. And where it says stand, having done all else to stand, still stand. That's the word. But I want to be clear about the fact that relationships are two people together. Right. Okay? And if you don't give that person something to be faithful to, what is your expectation? Right. And every woman wants to be treated like a queen. But at the same time, are you treating your man like a king? Good morning. You have to treat <laughs> your man like a king if you want to be treated like the queen. You can't sit up there and expect to be treated like a queen and do nothing for him and treat him like the peasant. You're going to have to treat him on the same level as he's treating you. He take you out, you take him out. He pamper you, you pamper him. It's a relationship. Right. And so we'd love to hear out from you guys. Please like, subscribe, and comment on all of our social media sites, our Facebook, our Twitter, our YouTube, our Instagram, our Tumblr accounts. Let us know what you think. Can a brother be faithful? We'd like to hear from you. Once again, I'm David. And I'm Equa. And we are Tainted Blood Clothing. Slash G2G.